tell me you're gonna show me the one with Patrick Stewart. Or French Stewart. Hell, I'll even watch Martha Stewart at this point. Don't be tripping, mofo! This is a totally Avita-like animated musical from 1997. A Christmas Carol. It stars the voices of Tim Curry, Whoopi Goldberg, Ed Asner, Basil Exposition, and Frank Welker as Scrooge's dog, Debit. Debit! Scrooge has a dog? Yeah. A dog named Debit? Word. I gotta see this. First of all, look at how clunky this animation is. It looks like it belongs in a serial commercial from the 80s or something that tries to convince you that reading the Bible is fun. Oh my god, and these songs. Tell me a tale about Christmas that's with fun and cheer. They're bad, but they can still get stuck in your head. Look, even Bob Cratchit can't stop huh? singing. Right out the gate, I'm actually on Scrooge's side. I would pitch slap that motherfucker if he kept humming that shit at work all day. Give up on my bob, he'll go buy a pint of ale. Then he'll borrow, beg, and rob you, and at best, end up in jail. You know what, let's just replace Tim Curry's singing in this movie with something a little less sucky. I'm just a sweet transvestite From transsexual Transylvania There you go. Humbug. What is the deal with this dog? He doesn't do anything except look pissed off and crash into things. Stupid dog. In fact, when you think about it, having man's best friend kinda contradicts Scrooge's entire character. Get the light, you liability. Dogs are expensive and loving. Scrooge is cheap and a misanthrope. This is like giving Hamlet a hamster, or Skeletor an ant farm, or Loki a pet rock. They just don't seem like pet owners. Oh my god, is that Jacob Marley or goes with the Gozerian? Neither! It was Colonel Mustard in the bedroom with the power of the Dark Overlords of the Universe, of course! In life, I was your partner. Jacob Marley. I heard you had no heart, Jacob. Now I see it's true. <laughs> I love how unafraid Scrooge is in this scene. He's more irritated than anything else. I don't care, Jacob. I like change. Even if this is a kid's movie, I mean, ghosts have still got to be scary, right? Word to your mother. Yeah, all right. I'm the ghost of Christmas past. Oh yes, the ghost of Christmas past. Peter Pan played by Bobby Hill. Stop fussing. <laughs> Look at this, we're time traveling through a lens flare. And a really unimpressive one. Let's get this to J.J. Abrams and see what he can do with it. My name is Kai. What you see are but shadows of the things that have been. It's Robinson Crusoe. Wait, 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 what? Yes, I remember this day. What the fuck is the point of throwing in Robinson Crusoe in your Christmas Carol? Is this one of those shared universes that movies keep trying to make? Or does Scrooge just do a lot of shrooms as a kid? See all my friends when shadows fall. Regardless, I can't take another song being sung by a kid who can't sing. Moving on. No one lives on hopes and wishes. Love alone grows dry and cold. But the sun will shine on these bright dreams of mine as upon this coin of gold. This song is really, really good, but the animation is so wooden and stiff. Look, let's take out the song and replace it with Christopher Walken lines and it'll work just as well. Five long years he wore this watch. Up his ass. Don't worry. Leave me be. Well, I guess it's time for the Ghost of Christmas Present to be showing up. I am the Ghost of Christmas Present. Or a British Whoopi Goldberg. No. I don't know what to say about a British Whoopi Goldberg. I bet you've never had a guest like me before. Um... <laughs> hey Whoopi, the ghost of Heath Ledger just called. He wants his Joker laugh back. 
What place is this? What the house of your wrong? only living You're relative. <laughs> <laughs> nephew Fred? You know, Scrooge's nephew Fred was never a genius, but in this adaptation, he's downright special needs. <laughs> then old Santa did address me, and his tone was resolute. Oh, why is there a song about Santa Claus in this movie? Look up heaven, bless me at old Santa's sooty suit. Then I looked up heaven, bless me at old Santa's sooty suit. That's as distracting and as pointless as adding in a dog or a crossover with Robinson Crusoe. The writers just keep shoving stuff in that doesn't belong. Now, this Ghost of Christmas Future I can actually get behind. Only because it looks like Shadow Weaver from She-Ra, Princess of Power. Does anybody remember that show? Did, uh, am I the only guy that- Spirit, this is a fearful place, but I see the lesson. And from the sound of it, it looks like this is the point where Tim Curry just gave up and dropped character completely. Oh, this is too harsh to bear. Well, I'm just doing this to pay off a parking ticket. <gasps> He sees his grave, he gets J.J. Abrams back to the future, and then he finds his spoons. My spoons? They're still here. I don't know either. God bless us. God, God bless, bless us. us. Everyone. Everyone. Well, we made it through two of these god-awful movies, so there's just one more to go. But this spirit is the one that I fear the most. I'm the ghost of Christmas in the 2000s. You probably haven't heard of me. 